Incentivizing the team for maximizing performance is generally done at the team level. You know, we do a lot of sports analogies in our trainings and transformations, and uh, a scrum team is really no different than any other professional sports team, right? Who gets a Super Bowl ring? Everybody who participated gets a Super Bowl ring. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move teams away from being in this competition mode in which, uh, you know, people on my own team I'm competing with um, to one in which a rising tide raises all ships. I'm willing to contribute in other areas because if we're successful as a team, I'm successful as an individual. Usually when we talk about things such as compensation, it's at the team level and it's through bonuses. You've had a good project or you've had a good year, you're gonna get a 15% bonus. Now, where that 15% is going to be, it really depends on how much contribution you can bring to the team. So, for example, if you know how to do one skill, you're considered a band one. Now you can be a junior member of band one, you can be a senior member of band one, but you're still gonna be a band one. Uh, you know how to do two skills? You're now a band two. Three skills? You're now a band three. And so we literally financially incentivize people to horizontally scale their skills because versatility is the key to a successful scrum team.